remember. I thought last night was just a great sports night. It was a great sport night. It was all about ball. Giants baseball against the Cubs. Yeah, the NBA Finals, congrats to Baltimore Celtics for winning their 18th NBA World Championship. Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum did the damn thing. What a run for them. They beat the Mavericks in five. I thought it was just one of those enjoyable sports nights, and it happened to come on a Monday. It was refreshing, Shasky. It really was. You know, it's interesting as I was, like, oscillating between the iPad and the television, you had the Boston Celtics at the Garden. And I know it's not the original garden, but it's still the garden to me. And I went there before, and so I feel some kind of way. And I think it presents a certain kind of way on television. And then I'm flipping back to the Giants at Wrigley, and the camera's shaking when it zooms in in the way that we kind of expect from from Wrigley. And I, look, sports, 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 everything is, is about, you know, the competition on the field. But to me, especially after watching Pinehurst over the weekend, venues matter. Yeah. It really did. They, for me, the older I get, the more I watch all of these new stadiums all over the place. Venues matter. Well, venues and, are great. And when I watch the Celtics, and we'll get into the, the X's and O's and what we saw from there. When I watch the Celtics win on that floor with that logo, it, it hits me a certain way. Even though I'm not a Celtic fan, I, I've never rooted for the Celtics. I, I'm rooting for those youngsters. And then I'm watching Wrigley with those uniforms. And that stadium and the Giants claw back the way that they did. I, I, I know, I know, I get all nostalgic, but you were saying like a great sports night because to me, I feel like we had vintage uniforms, vintage venues, and it was a great setting on just a quote unquote ho hum Monday night in summer. Um, it was unfortunate that Celtics wore green; they didn't wear their well, home whites at that, home, but but whatever. The green court it pops, it, whatever. That's what they do today in the NBA, and I'm not mad at that. NBA 2K is big time there. You've never been to Wrigley; you got to get to Wrigley because Wrigley. Um, you know, Dave Fleming and John, I think it was John Miller who was on a call at the time in the middle innings. We were talking about the scoreboard at right field mm -hmm. where it blocks Waveland Avenue or Sheffield Avenue, whichever one it is, and you can't get the seats up there on the rooftop. That kind of stinks, but they need to do upgrades at Wrigley Field. Walking around that stadium, when Anna and I got off the subway at Wrigley Field for that Giants-Cubs uh, game when, when the Niners are out there uh, open the season in Chicago, you get off the subway and you walk around, you're like, there's literally a ballpark <laughs> in the middle of a neighborhood. And you walk, and the houses are nice, mm -hmm. and you can hear it. And then you see the kids on the corner. They're selling lemonade out there. And I talk to them for a little bit. Then you walk in. It's just it's so quirky at Wrigley Field. It's so small, but yet it's beautiful. And it feels like baseball. It feels like baseball. So it's interesting. I didn't even think about the venues. I was just thinking, like, wow, I'm entertained here. We got good basketball with the Celtics dominating the Dallas Mavericks and Jason Brown just getting all of the Luka Doncic and he won the finals MVP, the Bill Russell Award, which, you know, kind of controversial because Jason Tatum let him in points, rebounds, and assists, but whatever. Who cares? They won championships and they're not they're not mad about that. Did you get the Giants in that fashion? In dramatic fashion, they've had some dramatic games at Wrigley Field, whether it's losing a 98 wild card or Will Clark calling the shot and hitting the grand slam in the NLCS in 1989 against Greg Maddox. That was a lot of fun last it night. Was. Just, it was just refreshing to get away from the IU TikTok, <laughs> the Clay Thompson contract talks, <laughs> and what's going to happen, and well, should he leave or should he go? Should the Warriors move on? It was just honest to see some nice, good competition on a Monday night. And as you said, coming off that off that uh Sunday Sunday uh, US Open with the with Bryson DeChambeau winning his second US Open and Rory choking there in the last three holes. <laughs> Going three over in the last three I, I still can't believe he went three over in the last four holes there. But anyway, just a great sports night. And I want to talk about it. We're going to talk to well, Elliot Ramos at 920. And I can't wait because this man is on a heater. Well, I mean, you're looking at this guy right now and he's got 137 at-bats, right? I'm talking Elliot Ramos. And if you project, now again, that's that's a pretty good sample. 137 is a pretty, now it's not, it's not a full season. It's not five seasons. So I, I'm not here to say this is what he is. But if we just play the projection game, you're looking at a guy who is on pace for 120 RBIs, 35 home runs, and 200 hits. I don't want to go there yet. I just want to focus on June. No, but I, I just I hear want you to understand how, no, how torrid no, his, he, his run has been right now. Well, he's, he's batting 328. He's got nearly 1,000 OPS. This guy has been on fire. And to me, the at-bat that everyone's going to look at is the home run. I'm looking at the one where he waits with – perfect balance and just blisters a ball to right field uh, like effortlessly with the flip of the hands. This guy is so locked in right now. I can't remember the time a Giants hitter this young has been this locked in since what? 
Posey's rookie year? Posey, Duffy's Posey, rookie year? Posey in the month of July. I'll never forget that. Posey's rookie been year amazing. In the month of July. Um, but Elliot Ramos in the month of June. In the month of June so far. He's batting 387. His on-base percentage is 458. His OPS is up there with Aaron Judge. Yeah. Right? I mean, he is on fire. Seven home runs in the month in June. We're not even done yet. 18 RBIs, eight walks, only 19 strikeouts, and he's got 24 hits and 72 plate appearances. And he's seeing the ball well. The oppo taco to right field with the home run. I I don't know what you – I was impressed with the home run because no, it, it came was. out of time. I, it I'm came out of time. Like, yeah, no, I hear you. When you're dialed I hear you. in. You're dialed in. You're having great at-bats all over the place. Exactly. No doubt about it. But to get the seventh inning started – after Bush hits the home run, and you're thinking, damn, Randy Rodriguez should come in to replace Jordan Hicks. You give up the two run shot. Now, there was controversy. You know, Brent Wise, he tried to make a great play. He, he actually made some great throws from shortstop, whether he got the runner out or not. I was like, wow, Brent Wise, we look at him getting yeah. deep in the hole. But to hit that home run to tie the game in the seventh inning, because it felt like, oh boy, like if the bullpen set up, mm-hmm. here we go again. And just to tie the game to give the Giants life. And then you get a strata with the hit by pitch and get the lead. Then the bottom of the seventh inning just <laughs> I don't want to focus on the negative, but who's the guy? Brooks at first base? Trenton Brooks. Did anybody hear about him before he got called up? I referenced his name when Wade got hurt. I said to you, I think they're gonna go. Because I, well, I was I never re- heard of him. I'm, I'm asking you though, did you know about him no! at all? So that's that's what I'm that's And my you know point. I follow the minor yeah, leagues. That's what I'm saying. I went Nobody... down to triple A and I was looking, I was like, well, because I know how far Han thinks. I'm like, oh, he's gonna elevate some garbage dude. Because we saw Jackson Reitz earlier this year. Yeah, I know. I know. This guy, this guy Brooks. Poor guy. Went to pop. I mean, I just <laughs> Look, I don't want to harp play? on him. I don't want to harp on him. No. But he's not a big leaguer. That's, but that's, Farhan, this but is a Farhan special, and you got to stop. It's Th- not this just is a Farhan this special. This is disrespectful. But you know what? You know why? You know why you have to go to Jackson Reitz, and you know why you have to go to Trenton Brooks? Like, you know why? Trenton Brooks. Because I've never heard of the guy. Because you're so obsessed with, with obtaining as many platoon garbos <laughs> as you possibly can that you're limited in what you have available off yeah, the bench. I, I, I don't get Think it. about this, right? I like, don't get it. Austin Slater, why is it you, you played him at first base a couple of years ago? What, but with the left-handed bat of of of, of Trent Brooks, what does it matter <laughs> that he's a left-handed at-bats. bat if he's fanning in three pitches? Dude, his at bats are just so uh, they're bad. His fielding, I mean, allowed to pop up. And Tyro Estrada's looking at him like, dude, it's not his fault. Dude, it's call uh, it. to me, this is on it's the GM. Farhan. He should be. That's not a Bob Melvin move here. Is Bob Melvin really going to play Trent Brooks now? Bob Melvin. When you throw in Eric Miller, and I'm thinking bullpen usage, I'm thinking Eric Miller's the best you got right now. Dante, they they, they, <laughs> they use nine guys on Sunday. No, I know. Nine guys on Sunday. And and I'm saying to myself, like, Jordan Hicks had, I believe, 84 pitches. And what I, 87 pitches. Yeah, and I'm 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 texting to the thread. Oh. What is the what are we doing? You well, used nine guys on Sunday. He's gotta go another inning. Well, did he speak about it? I thought I was watching the post game a little bit. The sound was a little down. And I think they asked him about it. And he's like, look, man, I'm ready to roll, if I'm not mistaken. But I was, I was watching the post-game show. I kind of was in and out of it. But he was speaking to the media. Maybe we could grab that sound or find a quote. But it's unsustainable said because to utilize your well, bullpen that I, much. I keep saying it. Five innings? Five innings for Jordan Hicks? 87 pitches? Now, I was muggy in Wrigley Field. It was hot out okay. there. 89 degrees. Probably a lot more humid. So a lot more energy getting used out there at Wrigley Field. Because you could tell the ball was flying out of there. It was flying. Like when Ramos got that ball and hit that home run, I was like, damn, that's going out? Ball just kept traveling, traveling, <laughs> traveling. Was. Same thing with Hap. Same thing with Estrada. So the ball was flying. It was hot. So if I would, I'll stall Bob Melvin out last night with the way he used Hicks. 87 pitches, though. I would like to see him go to 100. But again, you got to watch his innings because he's about to eclipse a career high. But I'm seeing Eric Miller, I'm seeing a lot of them. And Randy Poor Rodriguez, guy. I think they're being overused right now. <laughs> Way too much. I, Way I, too I much. I like those guys individually. You cannot be throwing four and six times a week, four to six times a week, and expect that you're going to get the best out of your relievers. Now, now, Eric Miller got squeezed on the Bellinger at bat. Okay. There's no doubt about that. Okay, but, but he also fell behind one, early. But you grooved one to Hap. Exactly. You're right down the middle. Even Flip on the call said, Boy, you can't just, you, you got to find a different location. You can't throw it there. You can't throw, what was that, a slider that didn't slide? I don't know what the hell that was, but it got rocked. I mean, it was a no doubt about it, but you were able to rally because Tyro was trying to hit some three-run bomb in the ninth inning, and then Camelo Duvall. How many people were worried about Duvall I, coming into the ninth inning? I mean, I mean, you couldn't watch that first at-bat and say, oh, he looks sharp. I mean, he's, his command's all over the place. Look, he got the win, uh, or he got the save, excuse me, and so I'm going to take it. 
but but I've been I've been like very skeptical on Camilo yeah. Duvall. The outings just I'm going off the eyeball. They don't look great right now. I, I don't was, think I he trusts where he's throwing the ball. He doesn't know where it's going. I you know what? I wanted him in there though. After throwing the Gatorade bucket and being mad, because I, I like that. You. I personally like that stuff. I hear you on the injury stuff, but I like that stuff when the guy's mad and showing me emotion. Mm-hmm. And Duvall, for the first time in a long time, just went crazy. Because a lot of people, people coming at me talk about nobody, he doesn't care. He doesn't care enough. Well, it looked like Sunday he cared, right? Absolutely. Through the Gatorade bucket, was ticked off after giving up four runs to the Angels. And he comes back and bounces back. And you get that, you get that save. In that fashion, mm-hmm. and you hope the Giants win. That's a confidence booster for Camilo Duvall. That's a confidence booster for this baseball team. And they gotta they gotta sort this bullpen out. Cause you can't survive like this. Especially out there. It's no getting questions. hot. It's getting humid, dude. You gotta save somebody's arms. Way too much. But overall, another guy, another guy who's having really good at bats, and Lubman was on this yesterday. That's five games now. Jorge Soler is seeing the ball very well. He is. Very well. Working and the splits counts, on him. Yeah. yeah the sp- Laying off the bad pitches. He does look a lot better. But you contrast that. Brett Wisely's, I, I, look, I don't know if the other shoe's dropping or if it's cr- turning back into a pumpkin in terms of his glass slipper. But, I mean, it, it, the, the batting average is starting to dip a little. You know, well, and that's going to happen. Being a little more selective on his pitches is going to be something he has to work on. Well, we don't have a large sample size no. of that batch your average is no. going to oscillate no. it's going to go up it could be 380 one day go down to 350 the next day 320 the next day i mean that's what's going to happen when you don't have the at bat you kind of got to let it play out here but Jorge Soler, Jorge Soler, my boy john sack the producer over at nbc tweeted this to me uh his splits and his lifetime splits and this is why i have a little hope when it comes to blake snell the lifetime numbers for jorge Soler get better as the calendar turns to june july August and September. And all of a sudden he's he's looking at he's taking walks. He's having good at bats. He's running the bases very well. How about him running the bases no, no on doubt. that triple on the, the ass, ass yesterday? Yeah, on the ass I mean, he was showing speed there in the top of the second. So uh I'm not mad at Horace Soler. Look, the bats gotta get hot. And I'm not gonna go crazy here. They beat the Cubs. They're a five hundred team. They're both five hundred teams. But you gotta somehow, some way figure out ways to stay in this bad boy I agree. and get to the deadline and hopefully you could buy something. Again, I don't know who's going to be selling because everybody's in it. Everybody's <laughs> well, in it for crying out loud. Well, th- there's a <laughs> couple of things when it comes to this bullpen that, that need to be pointed out. Number the one, are. the taxation. It, it's, I mean, the British think that you're overtaxing <laughs> your bullpen currently, <laughs> all right? So, it's the three years in a row. That's the two, it, only a two? What, you didn't like that? I mean, no, 300 years too late like, for that joke. I'll give you a three. <laughs> but here's the, the reality. Like, if I... If I am Eric Miller or Randy Rodriguez or, or even Sean Jays, like, can I have a couple of days off in a row? Like, no. Like, this starting staff, when was the last time someone not named Logan Webb was like, you right. know what? I'm going to take us into the seventh. Uh, yeah. Uh, Kyle Harrison back at Coors Field, <laughs> May 7th. Uh, it's been forever. <laughs> so, like, my point is, is, like, you can't use five uh, relievers a day and think that that's sustainable. There's only so many slots. Oh, the other thing man. is. Holding runners on is it's just not good right now. It's it just isn't like that's this. They have a lot of guys with either high leg kicks or slow deliveries, and their second base shortstop position cannot catch and place a tag on a runner to save their life right now. The run game, it, everyone is trying to run on them now. <laughs> no, it's the truth. Like they're the they're the least athletic team when I mean, it comes to stealing bases, but they give up a lot of stolen down, bases. You're bringing me down, Sasuke. I'm trying to be up and help the Giants heads out. It just feel good okay, on a Monday you know, night. How about that like, Yastro? No, 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 how no, about yeah, that you're me down. No, what think, is Mike no, 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 Talkman hold doing? Hold on, you're bringing me down because all of a sudden I'm feeling good, and then reality sets in. It was like, oh yeah, teams are running on you. They all oh are. yeah, your bullpen is taxed. Oh yeah, Eric Miller's ERA is over four. Oh wow, Randy Rodriguez's ERA is over five point four. Camillo's oh my God! Camillo's ERA is over, like over four or something. What is oh it? my God! Jordan Hicks has went five five innings. Oh my God! Trent Books is playing first base and he struck out three times and had atrocious at bats. Michael Conforto's going zero for three. And now he's down to two thirty five. But, <laughs> but he threw out Talkman. But he threw out Talkman. Michael God. Conforto. He had the walk. Michael oh. Conforto is four for forty five oh since returning right. on the aisle. He's got to get going. But but here's the here's the thing, B. You know what? When I see my first baseman rocking number sixty-one, <laughs> I feel confident. Now this, now this is you, a, it's like you no, with the DB. If no. you're wearing forty-eight <laughs> and you're a, and you're a corner, specifically a corner, I have zero faith in you. If uh, you're rocking the number sixty-one and you're playing first base, dude. 
There's no way you could be good, right? That's a spring trading number. Uh, 415, Xfinity Mobile tax line. The California government think we are overtaxing the bullpen. That, that's good. That's good. That's but I don't blame that on ahead. Melvin. When all your starters, are you blaming on Melvin or Farhan? No, it's on it's on Farhan because when you're when all your starters are dying, like, Jordan Hicks looked over. There was a plot. I think it was uh, first and third. That was oh. on the ass. He was looking to the dugout like, "Are you going to take me out of this game? I'm sweating a lot here. Can you tell?" And every time he gets to about the fourth inning, Jordan Hicks looks exhausted. Yeah, go get a New Jersey. Get he, to New Jersey. He guy. looks exhausted. He was well, dripping he's never, wet. Well, he's never done this before. So we're asking him to go six and seven? What did you guys expect? I'm lucky to get five out the young man. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Really? I came into the season thinking, okay, three or four, cool. Go to the bullpen. But here we go again. We're down to three starters. You're down to three starters. That was a fun so, win, though. It was a fun win, but damn. I'm trying to, I just want to, I just want to like, that. I want to gloss over the negativity of this baseball team for once. Because they are a flaw team. Let's be honest. I mean, they're still one game under 500. And, 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 and like, you know what? Shame on some Giants fans. And I see some local radio hosts like laughing at Mookie Betts for being hurt. Nah, yeah, really? go Giants. Best blah, blah, blah. In the game? It's just like, dude, what are you?